Well, hello, gang. Welcome back once again to The Long Dark. I'm Lonely Wolf, and we are back in Interloper. Uh, I'm running a little experiment here. I've been fiddling around some different settings um, to get things a little peck picked up here. Uh, obviously not perfect, though. Uh, what I have done is I've gone into OBS and changed my settings. I've just recently done an upgrade on my computer. I now have the Ryzen 3950X processor. Um, currently using some expanded PBO settings, for those of you who know anything about uh, Zen processors, rather than a manual overclock. Um, and I will probably share some pictures in the Discord if you're not there. There's a link in the channel description, or in the video description, yada yada yada. Anyway, uh, I'll be doing some of that stuff. Uh, looks like we're going to be wasting another match today if we want to do this deer. Maybe we don't want to do this deer. It's hard to say. It's called as heck. That's what it is. Hecking heck. We did get some condition back, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm using some different, um, some different video settings. Uh, for for the recording and output on on the OBS's side. I was uh, previously using the uh, NVIDIA encoder with my graphics card for local recordings because that would give me uh, the potential to stream in a decent quality without overloading uh, the CPU and dropping in-game frames while I'm playing by having the CPU trying to do both, uh, the streaming and local recording. But now that I have 16 cores to throw at the problem, that's kind of a moot point. <laughs> so, yay more cores. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, just let me know down below what you think of the video quality. Um, I'm going to fiddle around with the file sizes and everything. I've got handbrake, so we'll see what I come up with. But anyway, just let me know what it ends up looking like, and uh, we'll see where we get with it. But anyway, yeah, back to back to the task at hand. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can get some. Uh, you know, we've not been to draft dodgers. Maybe we should go drop in and have a look, right? It's to the right, right? If I recall. Or is it to the left? Hmm. I think it's over in there. It's hard. I, uh, I always forget what draft dodgers is. Especially since they've done the map changes. Also, we need to leave Pleasant Valley as soon as we can. This is, this is just not a good region for me <laughs> to be in. Like, obviously I'm going to be cold all the time, really, no matter where I am. Are we going to get some sun out of this day? I would love some sun. If we can pop into draft dodgers for a little bit and then end up getting some sun, like, that would be appreciated. Perhaps, we'll see. We might, we might get some sun. Although, with the sun, we may get some wind, and right now we don't have wind, so... Oi. See if I can't grab a couple sticks though, and maybe we'll light a fire. Also, I thought I'd grabbed all these cattails. Apparently not. Okay, look, there we go. We got a stick. No other sticks floating around, huh? Okay. Okay. And this is, this is the way to draft dodges, right? Right? Or am I wrong? I feel like I'm wrong. It's that way, isn't it? Well, I can burn a couple of seconds trucking this direction. I can't remember. Let's grab some rose hips and I'm burning condition. Maybe we should fail on this idea. I'm trying to recover condition, not burn it. Not that important to get to draft dodgers either. We can do that another day. We still have Thompson's Crossing to nail. Eh. Also, it sounds like the wind wants to come up. We will, uh... We'll see. We'll blow another match. I don't know if it's a good idea to. I'm gonna stuff this fire right next to the deer though, because it's currently not windy. I feel like this is probably a bad idea. 
I don't know how much Fire Striker's left. It's what we've been using. I don't want to abuse it too badly, though. And we'll try the Cedar. Look at that little butt. It's a fine little butt, Mr. Deary Boy. Round two. Come on. That's literally what I just said. Stop copying me. Bonk. Give me that warmth value. Yay! Warmth! No. Oh. Why won't it let me use my hand? Oh, because it's still frozen. Well, it's faster to go with this. Let's use the hacksaw. Plus, it's easier, more easily repaired at the moment because I'm all basically out of whetstones. I'm going to drop the bare hands if I can. Yay, no tool. Nom nom. Yeesh. Yeah, let's use the knife. It's at 90%. I don't know why I'm worried about its condition. All right, what are we looking at fire time? An hour 45. Let's eat that too. It's actually a decent spot to kill a deer at. There's not any really any wolves close by. All right, 32. So it's literally the same knife or not. Uh, both of those are cooked? Yep, okay. Don't bump me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who said you could do that? I'll finish off the meat. Then we can just throw water on the fire and get the hide. Oh, now it's sunny. Didn't have to waste a match. If I just waited, but now the wind's going to come up. I just know it, so... Just get the hide and bail. Gotta patch this fire down. Alright, well while that water's cooking, let's go get these cattails and then we can come back and warm up. Oh, it appears I'm smelly. No, it's not. Hush. Just because we brought so much fuel with us. Didn't need to bring it all, but I did. Ugh, still only 7 degrees out, man. We have to leave Pleasant Valley. Like, we gotta clear Thompson's Crossing, come back, sort out anything else we want to sort out, and bail. Like, we gotta leave. I think we'll go back to Coastal Highway first, though, because I still got a buttload of bear meat there. Like, we'll be fine. Is that another cat tail? What the heck? No, it's not. Okay. I was about to say, why you bully me? But yeah, now I gotta sit here and babysit this fire for the next god knows how long. I make even more water I don't really need. I suppose I could take torches and then reclaim them from sticks, but... I'm not a fan of wasting my time. That's what I call wasting my time. 
Shush your face, Abishai. I said shush your face. And no, we ain't doing no Helen Keller and hip talking something or other. That's just, no. We're just getting water. Man, I love that. What was that? Vigilant flame that fixed the cooking? There's no in between. Oh boy. We are chonky little boys. Hey, let's warm up real quick before we bail. Four gallons of water. That, that's actually a bit much. Alright, let's go! Oh, I can't sprint. Oh, we are gonna burn some heck loads of condition. <laughs> uh, unless we make this like a two tripper. I wanna come back this way though! Mm, why you bully me? Alright. I suppose we can recover the condition by sleeping. We've got food for a couple of days. I can stretch it a little if need be. We could run up to Timberwolf Mountain and bring all that meat back with us. But that requires being willing to burn condition. And we may get stuck up there with a the blizzard. I just want to get to Thompson's Crossing. I don't know how much food is even viable on Coastal Highway. I don't know how much I want to take with me because it makes me smelly. Oh, man, so many factors to consider. All I know is we got to get out of here. It's just too cold. Like, even if I had double bearskin coat, like, that's what, six more degrees than I've got right now? So I'd be nine degrees right now. Like, it's just... Or is it more like eight degrees? Hold on, what's the difference? It's 7.3, right? Max wolf skin. What is it, 10.8? Right? So it's 3 point... Yeah, that's 7 degrees more, if my numbers are correct. If my numbers are not correct, it's going to be different. Oh yeah, we're going to be burning some, some condition, man. I'd say we're still 15, yeah, we're, well let's just go with a raw number of a half hour out, so that's 10% that's, that's condition right there. I'm gonna, let's just say we're a whole hour out. Because of how slow we are. Because I stupidly brought like literally all my fuel with me. Also, if there's any wolves at the farmstead, not that direction because that's upwind from us, but that direction, they're going to be coming to check us out. Thankfully, in Interloper, the farmstead's actually completely viable. Well, it is in Stalker 2. Just, you have to approach it from the right angles. <laughs> there's none of this little back shantying out I've been doing here in Interloper. That's, that's not a thing in Stalker. You have to come up and over and down this way. Like, not up over the bridge area, but like, pop up off the backside and down through the creek over to there, and then stock down. Uh, because this little orchard I sneak through here usually has at least one or two wolves in it. Uh, in Stalker. Loper, yeah. Nice and clean. But, the only reason I would be convinced to stay here is if that bear walks by the front porch like he does if Mr. Barry Bear walks by the porch and gives me a nice clean shot to shoot him in the face that's like literally the only reason I would stay any longer but I don't want to I want to go back to like Coastal Highway Mystery Lake. I think we were planning to go to Mystery Lake first, right? Because that's where we've got some more gear. We were going to restock. Before going back to Coastal Highway. Plus that's a nicer route into Coastal Highway from Mystery Lake than it is from Pleasant Valley. Less wolf potential. Uh, I don't know.
Let's get dark quick. Negative 10. Most of that's in, no, most of that's not in wind chill. Negative 36 stock temperatures. We have got to get out of Pleasant Valley. I I literally have two degrees. I have two degrees of warmth value sans wind chill right now if we didn't have the wind on us. Like that is how bad Interloper and especially Pleasant Valley are. Like just no. No. I think that's probably, like, I, I still need to make more guide tip videos and tip videos and stuff, but I think that's, like, probably the single hardest, um, uh, mindset change you have to make going from stalker to interloper is beginning to treat condition as a resource that you use daily. And balancing your use of it. Like... I think that's the single hardest mindset change I had to make when jumping from Stalker to Interloper. I guess it also depends on how good at Stalker you were. Like, how well you had mastered that game mode, because I know a lot of people also struggle with food and Stalker. Uh, for me, it's not an issue, but I'm not the entire Long Dark player base. So I won't dare think to speak for everybody in the long dark and say that stalker is just straight up easy for me it is but not just because i play the game a lot good all of it's cooked let's snog this down and this we literally got one more steaky but that's that's it so we added one steak to our pile of like five steaks so yeah that's enough for um that's enough to uh, finish out my stint here in Pleasant Valley. That's literally it. That's all it's enough for. Okay, Facebook, you're, you're, you're annoying me. I don't know why you're open. Just close. Whoever is messaging me, plus, you're important. I will get to you, but not right now. Where is it? Materials, there we are. All right. So, it's nighttime. It's dark. We can't do a whole lot, and we're not tired enough to sleep yet. And the one thing we can do is unload all of this, uh, water into the fridge. Uh, not all, but like, most. I don't even think we need that much, but me. Okay, so we can fit two fur in there. Alright, freezer. Hello. Take my fur. I don't even need all this coal. Give me two. Plenty. Look at that. I should have done this before we left, but you know. Alright, materials. Oh yeah, freezer's not going to have any of that. Fridge. Mater I thought I saw something in here I didn't want to see, but I guess not. Alright, anyway, materials. Give me the birch and bark. And the rose and hippins. And we is going to do some crafting while it's nighttime and we can't do anything else. This will take 45 minutes to do. Alright, let's look at the time. Oh yeah. And then crafty doodles, rose hips. I can literally only do one. That's all I have enough for. Okay. Uh, I guess we should check clothing then and make sure clothing's good. I don't need bandages, do I? I have five. No, I don't. I still have 16 rose hips left over. I wonder if I should take those with me when I leave. Alright, so looking at medicine. We have five prepared birchy barks, 12 mushrooms, and five rose hippins, as well as one more reshi already cooked. Do we have any uh, more reshi in the fridge? We do! Would you look at that? Mashrooms. Oh, it only takes two mashrooms, so we'll have one mashroom left over. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a look at clothing. 77, 96, 81, 71, 66, 52. Two and we're not even wearing you. Why are you in my inventory then? Probably because we picked you up somewhere. 
93, 82, 91, 74, it's getting close. 98, 91, 75, 78, 77, 96. So yeah, this is the first one coming up on it then. <clears throat> oh, we can uh, really quick go to crafting and see. Clothes. Uh, bear skin coat is 10.8 and wolf skin coat 7.2. I was wrong. I thought it was 7.3. Okay, so um, the delta here is 0.8 to get to 8 and then 2 to 10. So 2.8 and then what was the rest? Another 8. So 3.6. So yeah, that's 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 just over 7. That's that's 7.2 Fahrenheit better than what I'm carrying if we double this. But 11 pounds, man, compared to 6 pounds. Ooh, I don't know. We can find another set of inner. Another Fahrenheit for a half a pound. These are good. That's good. I don't know why it weighs so little, but it's good. These we just, yeah, that's, that's what we got for clothing. Oh yeah, this fridge is full, that's right. Here. I changed my mind, get out. Oh, we left some matches behind, cool. Get in here. Alright, so clothing. Why am I not wearing that hoodie? Part of the reason I'm probably so cold? No, no, I had it on before. For some reason I took it off. Don't ask. All right, so clothes. A light shell is worthless. We can kill that immediately without looking. Eh, I kind of want to hang on to that. We don't need both ski jackets, though. Or both jeans. Do you want to keep the spare hoodie? And the jeans. Prize the storm hasn't blown up already. Probably coming though. Well, oh, bam! We got thirteen cloth in here, twenty feathers, three, lots of guts, six. All right, well, we'll be able to be taking the rabbit pelts, the the wolf coat, the sapling, a couple of the guts maybe, feathers. Pretty much everything else there can stay. Tools. We'll take the arrow shafts. And the arrow. Pretty much everything else can stay here. Food, water, cattails. Those meds we'll take some with. Matches, we may just leave some behind. Yeah. Alright, let's um because we are actually tired enough to sleep. Let's go uh, let's find our way upstairs and take a nap. I got stuck. There we go. Oh. There we go. Finding your way around at night in the dark. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No curtain to take down, I already took it down. What about in here? I think I see a curtain. That's mine. Six more cloth. What about this window? Oh boy, it's my lucky day. We're gonna blow another hour. I really wanna be asleep till morning. Cause we're going to Thompson's Crossing. I kinda wanna sleep till late morning. So I'm basically trying to find some things to kill time. I've already killed the curtains there. Not here though. There's no point in using a knife to break curtains down. The difference is what? A couple of minutes is all. Hello? Hello? What's in my way? 11 minutes for- yeah, it's 4 extra minutes. Use the hand. So worth it. Alright, we probably, once we do this next curtain, have pushed it far enough to put it later in the day. Assuming the weather's beneficial. Like, this this is the, like, major biggest assumption I'm throwing out the window here. Ooh. We are a little hungry. Good thing we got some cattails. I did intend to eat some of these. Because we got 40 in the fridge. And yes, I know people are going to scream, Why are you eating your 
cattails now? Because I want to. That's why. Can go to Forlorn Muskeg and get more if I want. I grabbed these ones specifically for today because they were there. I'm rolling with 10 in my inventory and the 40 in the fridge. And we'll figure the rest out from there. Dwinkawada! And sleep for 8 hours. If we can actually get a full 8. I don't think we can. We weren't tired enough for a full 8. I don't think. We should wake up fully rested? Yes. Oof, and it's still barely just morning. Yike. Big yike indeed. Well, and condition's not that great either. We could try and make it we could make it to the barn and stop there to warm up and then make it the rest of the way if the weather goes decently, but we'd have to take food with us, which means attracting wolves. Let's have a step outside real quick and see what the days are looking like. Hmm. We'll consider it, but that will be time for another episode. That's all we're going to do for today. I have been Lonely Wolf. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay safe and stay warm out there. <laughs>